Hello everyone. The molecule we have decided to talk about is one of the most popular HIV antiretrovirals known as Zygovidin, also called AZT for short. AZT belongs to a class of drugs known as nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, also known as NRTIs. It was actually the first HIV drug synthesized used to combat the deadly epidemic early on. In order to understand how AZT works, we'll need to first answer what exactly is HIV? HIV is a retrovirus, which means that it uses a reverse transcriptase enzyme. This protein complex transcribes HIV's genome, which is an RNA single strand, into a DNA double strand, which then gets integrated into the host cell's genome. From there, the cell produces the HIV virus components through cell division cycles, allowing the virus to proliferate. After a long period after the DNA of HIV is incorporated into the host cell in continuous replication cycles, this eventually leads to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, also known as AIDS. Now we will demonstrate the mechanism using a zipper analogy. In this analogy, the zipper itself is like the single-stranded RNA and the reverse transcriptase enzyme is like the zipper pull tab and as you pull along the single-stranded RNA it's essentially like adding nucleotides forming the double strand. Now let's see what happens when we use a molecule like AZT to disturb this process. Looking at AZT we can see why the molecule is a nucleoside analog it contains a deoxyribose sugar as well as a thymine. Comparing it to thymidine, we see that it also has the exact same components. The key difference, however, is that in place of the 3' hydroxyl on the sugar, AZT has an azeto group which is essential to its function. This is because in nucleotide polymerization, a phosphodiester bond is formed through a condensation reaction in which the 3' hydroxide end of the chain nucleophilically attacks the phosphate group closest to the free nucleotide. This forms a diester linkage and releases the two phosphates. Now, because AZT is so structurally similar to thymidine, it still gets incorporated into the strand. However, because there's the azeto group instead of the 3' hydroxyl, once the AZT is part of the strand, no nucleophilic attack can occur and this leads to chain termination. No more nucleotides can be added to the chain which eventually destroys the replication cycle. Now let's go back to our zipper analogy. Once again, the zipper is our RNA strand, and our zipper pulley is the reverse transcriptase. However, this time we'll incorporate the AZT molecule. As you can see, the zipper closes properly until the AZT gets added, which prevents us from zipping it all the way. Just like our zipper, the addition of AZT stops the addition of more nucleotides, and the HIV life cycle is destroyed. To showcase this process, we built a little model. Here are the nucleotides, and here is the single-stranded HIV RNA with the reverse transcriptase. As the enzyme goes down the single-stranded RNA, it brings the nucleotides to their matching base pairs using the phosphodiester bond. And through this, it creates a complementary strand. However, once the AZT is added, which is indicated with the match stick, to show the azido group, now the bases are no longer able to form that necessary bond and this stops the entire process. As you can see, it's key that AZT is a copy of a normal nucleotide with a minor chain because its function depends on it being incorporated and then terminating the chain with an understanding that polymerases add 5' prime to 3'. Prime.
While zidovudine was the first ret antiretroviral used, it inevitably came with many side effects and early on toxicity was a huge issue. These included lactic acidosis, liver problems, and muscle weakness. It's interesting to note that most of these side effects are metabolic issues and this is largely due to AZT being incorporated by the mitochondrial DNA polymerases, having severe consequences on the mitochondria's DNA replication. Ultimately, AZT was an essential drug that helped turn the tides in the battle against AIDS. Thank you all for watching and this video is dedicated to Chem 151, Molecules That Changed the World.